Welcome to the suggested solution for the fourth exercise in the, this Rules Mastery series. Uh, this is a quite tricky exercise, so I suggest that you go through this step by step uh, and you, well, uh, don't be frustrated if this feels difficult because it is pretty difficult. You will use a lot of different rules concepts in, in this, all, all the basic rules concepts actually, the, the data types, data selection and things, you will use the uh, lists uh, and loops. Uh, you will use components and you'll also use some interesting data that rules provides when uh, saving user accounts. Uh, and you'll see that rules has both the old and the new user account available um, to read data from. Uh, anyways, to get started with this, uh, well, our goal is to uh, manage leveling up on the site. When a user reaches a certain point level, uh, he or she should get uh, a number of uh, roles on the, uh, to his or her user account. And these roles and limits are set by this Drupal points configuration screen shown in the previous screencast. And let's see. Uh, first thing, well, easiest way to, to see how this starts is to create a new reaction rule. And uh, we can do that from rules here. The rules configuration config, workflow rules, create new rule here. I'm gonna call this uh, check for level up or something. Well, let's, let's actually call it uh, actions on account update because I'm gonna run this action every time an account is being updated and then it's gonna call a component for checking the level up. And let's give it the tag Drupal points just so I can bunch it together with all the other rules configuration that I have. This will react on the event, scroll down, scroll down, uh, before saving a user account. When account, an account is going to be saved, this rule will kick in and look at the old and new user account and perhaps do some fancy things with it. Save. Okay, like all events, this event may provide data to rules. And this event provides two different datas the uh, unsaved data uh, unsaved account and the updated account and this can these can then be compared in conditions and you can do things with them what i would like to do is to uh, take the old and the new user account and check their drupal points and see if the uh, if the user has passed any of these limits that are set here in in the point configuration and to do that, I first have to load the Drupal points configuration. So let's do that. So rules can access this data. And da -da -da, select action to add. And this is a special action that is uh, provided, hard-coded by, by this module. Load Drupal point levels. Let's call it Drupal point levels and level config. That's fine. And OK. I want to check if the old and new user account has passed any of these levels these limits, uh, which means that I could, well, one uh, useful way of doing this is adding a loop and see if uh, for each level, I'm looping over all these levels, and if uh, for each level I'm going to check if the user has passed this point limit here. So let's see, I'm adding a loop, and in the data selector I want to loop over this uh, uh, level config that is a is a list we can see if I click on it it has zero one two three and so on so it is a list I'm gonna loop over it and I'm not gonna call it current list item I'm gonna call it current uh, uh, level or something level continue and then inside this loop I would like to add a condition that checks if uh, the user has passed this particular level here. Uh, and here you start to get into uh, problems because you cannot add conditions inside this action part of, uh, of a reaction rule. And currently the only way of getting around that, well, you can either uh, write some custom code and things, or you can create a, uh, a component that contains the condition and then call that component from within this loop. And that's very useful. 
and that's exactly what we're going to do. So let's uh, head over to Configuration, Workflow, Rules, Components, and add ourselves a new component. I'm going to call that this one, oh, uh, the component type. I will need both uh, conditions and actions. So I will need either a rule or a rule set. I used a rule set last time, so let's try a rule this time. Uh, rule set. If, if you don't know what to choose, rule set is the safest bet because that means you have all the flexibility left. Uh, but I'm going to take a rule anyway, just to show you what it looks like. Continue. Uh, I'm going to call it, this one will be check for level up. Drupal points. And now here in the uh, parameters provided to this uh, component, we'll have to think a bit here. From this loop here, we want to send uh, all the data that is, uh, well, this component will take care of the leveling up. Uh, this reaction room here will just loop over the uh, configuration that we made in the Drupal points, loop, loop over all these levels. And then this component will check, has the user passed this level, has the user passed li this level, and if so, add a role and things to it. And that means that this uh, component will need quite a bit of data input to it. It will need to start with the old user account, the unsaved user account, uh, to see the old points of the user. So let's see here. Uh, as parameter, I select an entity that is a user. I'm going to call it unsaved user account. Uh, account unsaved. I'm going to need the updated user account. So there's, here's another user entity then. Updated account. Let's actually call it account only here. Account updated. Uh, you will need the uh, level limit here, the level the point limit, uh, as an input, because we're looping over a number of, uh, of levels and you want to check for each level has the user passed this level. So the component needs to know what that uh, limit is. And that is an integer. So let's pass this one into the, uh, this uh, component as well. Uh, point limit, let's call it limit, and there will be need for yet another uh, parameter here, and that is the roles that should be added to the user account if he or she has passed this limit. And that is, and this is pretty tricky to know since uh, you haven't seen it before, I mentioned it in the previous screencast, but never mind, uh, a list of integers. The roles are represented as integers, and each um, config here, each, each level has any number of roles, so that's a list of roles. Wow. List of integer uh, roles to add. Let's call it roles. And that's it. So we have two user accounts, the old and the new. We have the uh, point limit to, to check for, and the roles to add. Save. Okay. Uh, since you come this far, you you are awarded with uh, five seconds break and have some tea or something. Okay. Let's move on. Uh, we want to check now if the user has passed uh, a certain limit of points. So let's add a condition. We want to well, data comparison is a good thing. Uh, we want to com compare the uh, point limit with the new uh, points that the user has. So I'm comparing what? Um, I'm comparing the account updated colon field user Drupal points. The, the new points that the user has should be greater than or equal to, now let's switch here, to the point limit. Okay, uh, greater than or equal to doesn't really exist here, but greater than or equal to is the same thing as, oh, we can do this, this is perhaps better. Greater than or equal to, greater than 
this limit minus 1 is probably a good thing. So if it's greater than this limit, uh, minus 1, it means that it, it's equal or greater than. You could also check this, uh, change this to lower than and use the negate button here. If you're into doing fancy logics, I'm not going to do that right now. So limit minus 1, if the new Drupal point is greater than limit minus 1, then the user is obviously above that threshold. Uh, but it, uh, we have to check if the user passed this limit, not only if he or she is above, but actually passed it. So we have to look at the old uh, point level as well. So let's, let's do that. Add another condition, which also will be data comparison. And we're going to check the unsaved account, which contains the old uh, Drupal points. Field user Drupal points. Continue. We should compare that against, again, this limit. So I'm switching to data selection and finding this limit here. And the old Drupal points should be lower than this limit. Save. OK, so if the uh, user uh, now has passed this limit and before didn't, uh, what, uh, wasn't above this limit, then we should do something. Whew. And the most important thing we should do is to add these uh, roles to the user. So let's do that. Add an action. And as it so happens, there is an action for adding roles to a user. So we're adding a user role here. Which user should we add this to? Well, we should add it to the updated user. I don't think it really matters, but uh, uh, it makes sense to add it to the updated anyway. What roles should we add? And here's a list of, of roles that we could choose from. But let's switch to data selection and add the roles that were sent in to this component as a parameter. Wow. And there we are. Whew. Um, that's it. Oh, that's almost it. We have now uh, a component that checks if we have passed a certain level of points, and point limit, and then adds a role. But let's actually call it as well. So going back to this um, reaction rule, actions on account update, we're looping over all the thresholds that we have. For each threshold, I'm going to add an action here, add action inside the loop. And the action will be to call this uh, component, the rule component, check for level up. And you see here we have one, two, three, four different uh, uh, parameters to add, to pass into this uh, component, just as expected. The unsaved account we want to send in, that will be the account unchanged. That is provided by this event that triggers, uh, well, that reacts on uh, user account is going to be updated. Uh, account unchanged will be the unsaved content. The updated content, that is just the account, the saved user. The point limit will fetch from this uh, list that we're looping over. So I'm switching to data selection. Da, da, da. Uh, the level that we are at right now that we're looping over has a point limit, and that is the point limit we're sending in. Same thing here with the roles to add. Switching to data selection, we're sending in from this level. Note that this is a level here. We're sending in the point limits and now the roles. A level colon role. Save. Yeah, and that's it. Uh, you can see this action now is inside the loop. It's, loop. it's indented here. We could theoretically uh, drag it outside, but that's kind of a bad thing to do. Let's actually just reload this page to make sure that I didn't do anything stupid. You can see we can also add loops inside loops and all kind of strange things here. Um, and that's it. If you got this working, then you're uh, ready to do cool stuff with rules. From now on, we'll be working with, uh, well, checking out what fun stuff you can do with rules, but all the uh, 
heavy stuff, all the learning of new concepts has been done. You have passed the important threshold. Congratulations. And uh, yeah, see you in the next exercise. Bye.